Hello. Good morning. Today we are going to discuss is table of specification, which is part three of assessment planning, as we were discussing. A very very important component, which one must know in assessment. So till now, we have already given questions and understood answers to these questions. Purpose of examination. Who do we want to assess? When do we want to assess? What content do we want to assess? By which method and tool do we want to assess? What should be the number of items in each tool? Today we are going to talk about this. What content do we want to assess? That in fact is the basis of table of specification. Table of specification is a table. So it has rows and it has columns. It has three sections. One is the content sections. Second is the weighted section. And third is a domain of learning section unit. In content section, it includes the topics taught. Weighted section is the degree of importance or degree of weightage each topic is given. Third is domain of learning section. It is degree of cognition, psychomotor scale and effect each topic has because we know there are three domains of learning, knowledge, skill, and effective that is attitude. Degree for each importance given to a topic depends upon how much must it has to know and how common the disease and whatever it is is prevalent in the society and how much that knowledge is important to solve the daily problems of life in our case that is the problems of the patient. This is a design of the table of specification. I have color coded it. This content section is the green, weighted section is blue, and this pinky section is the domain of learning section. Now I will explain to you how to develop table of selection by taking an example. Let's see we have to develop a course on primary survey which is a component of primary trauma care. Simply the content of primary survey is airway, breathing, circulation, disability and exposure. Now the first step would be to complete the content section. So what we have done is we are putting the content in the content section. Airway, breathing, circulation, disability, exposure. Once the step one is completed, then we have to do step two. Step two is assign weightage to the topic. For that the specialist has to sit down and give weightage. While discussing this thing, we have to give weightage because we know this thing that the problems of airway, breathing and circulation are much more to disability exposure and the people die more immediately because airway and breathing problem. Keeping that thing in mind, this weightage was given by the specialist. 30% airway, 25% breathing, 25% circulation, 15% disability, and 5% exposure, and total is 100. So once we have completed the second section, the third section would be, or the step third will be, assign degree of knowledge, psychomotor, and effective component that each topic has. Because each topic has a knowledge component, a psychomotor component, and effective component. 
wants to think over it and this is it so that was the thought of it if you see this thing 20 plus 10 30 10 percent is knowledge 20 percent is psychomotor and total is 30 percent if you talk about breathing 5 percent in knowledge 20 percent is psychomotor and 25 percent is, is the total and disability exposure we even have an effective component 7 percent disability 5 percent psychomotor 3 percent now if you see this thing it is 100 in this column which is the weighted section and this also is 100 there are huge implications of tabular specification it provides a framework to guide the teacher about how much time do they need to spend in teaching a component or a topic in a course or whatever it is not only this in assessment how much content from a particular topic should be included in the examination such as the bearing therefore many times a fourth column can be added duration section let us say if this course was 50 hours then 15 hours should be spent on airway teaching 13 hours on breathing teaching 13 hours of circulation teaching, 6 hours on disability, and 3 hours on exposure. Obviously, they are rough. But it is providing as a guideline that how much importance in terms of time is to be given to a topic in a course. Thank you. Have happy moments. Have a good day and hope this helps you.